in the MCU, there are many questions left unresolved. How does Nick Fury lose his eye? Why did uh, Steve Rogers get taller? Does Tony Stark have a heart? That's just a clickbait title, because I've got this thing right here. Voila. Does Tony Stark have a heart? According to this, proof Tony Stark has a heart. What more do you need? So this is the uh, arc reactor. I couldn't, I couldn't think what it was called. I was, I, I just, I completely ran it. Iron Man, Mark One arc reactor. You know, in the film, when he, uh, when he's in the cave and he needed an arc reactor and he had the box of scraps and he made it in the cave with the help of, of Yin Sen, I think that was his name, who was a nice guy. Uh, this. It was a bit confusing as well because the thing that keep, was keeping him alive was actually a magnet uh, and, and that was just stopping shrapnel seeping into his heart. So they, they were pairing it with a car battery and he was like, ah, it's this, I can't survive like this. And, and then they, they build this to, uh, to power that. And it's, it's, it's kind of confusing because it didn't need to be in his chest. The magnet was already there. The arc reactor could have been like anywhere else. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's so what have we got? The boxing feels redundant because you can physically see it very easily. It does look pretty cool to be honest. Weirdly, the magnetic part is all actually it's probably backwards. I won't I won't go into that yet. Uh, see on the top, uh, Eagle Moss Hero Collector Premium Exhibit Premium Exhibit. Not just regular, premium. Uh, Iron Man, Arc, uh, Mark, <laughs> Mark One Arc Reactor, it says it again. Marvel Studios Iron Man, it says it again. On the back, uh, for some reason, there's... Oh, no. I, was, I thought it was Ironmonger, but it's actually very clearly the Mark One armor. You know, the one he built in the cave with the box of scraps. Artifact, Mark One, first appearance, Marvel Studios Iron Man, scale one to one. Oh look, collect them all. Oh, so there's a few of them. So there's uh, Hero Collector pre presents scaled replica models of the greatest props from over 10 years, updated, of groundbreaking Marvel movies. Take home a piece of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What I really like about this, without even looking at them, I can tell they've just said, these are the top grossing films, so that's the props we'll make, because they've got, they've got Avengers, or Avengers Assemble, as it's known here, and they've got Captain America's Shield, not the first film he was in, not even the best film he was in, but it's Captain America's Shield. Okay, fair enough. Avengers Infinity War, the Infinity Gauntlet. That one makes sense, okay? Yeah, it's key to the film, it's called prop. Okay, I doubt that's one-to-one -one scale, given that it would be huge, because Thanos was huge. And then you've got Black Panther. Black Panther's mask. It's a tricky one because I, from from the film Black Panther, there's there are some there's there's cool stuff in there. There's uh, there's the necklace that he has the whole suit in. That's a cool thing. The coolest mask in that film is the one that Killmonger takes from the museum at the start. But I think that's a little bit too niche for this connection. So they got they got Black Panther's mask, which is fine, I guess. It's a bit weird because it's. I mean, it is a mask, but it's not. Does he take it off separately? I guess he does. And then they've got Avengers again. I don't know why. And, and it's Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. Which is a pretty cool thing to have. The thing is, like, logically, it should be from Thor Ragnarok. Because that, that was, that's a, this is a different film for a start. But I guess it was smashed in that. Eh, I'll allow it. What have we got on the side of here? The arc reactor was created by Tony Stark to power an electromagnet in his chest. Oh, fair enough. I did remember that bit. The Mark I reactor was replaced with the help of Pepper Potts, who then framed the original, the device, the, sorry, who then framed the original, the device as a gift. That just doesn't make sense. Is it, is she, and then framed the original, or and then framed the device. And it's like, it's like, I like, I like both. Let's try it with one and then the other. And they forgot to delete as appropriate. As a gift for Tony. 
with an inscription reading, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Uh, yeah, I think that's as much info on the side. Only thing at the bottom is the you know, location of the place, telling it's 14 plus. Yeah, okay, all right, let's open it up. Still yet to recover my knife, so I'm, I'm still using this Lego separator. Thing is, I only use that knife to cut open boxes. And I only cut open boxes in like two places, and it's not in either of those places, so I, I don't know what I've done with it. it I'll clear up one day and it'll just be under a, a book. I know that, but when will that day come? I'm gonna miss my knife in a minute. I feel like I don't need to be careful with this because it looks incredibly sturdy, but at the same time, it's Eagle Moss, so you always need to be careful. Look, card, love these. Certificate of Authenticity. Marvel Studios Iron Man. Hero Collector proudly presents your skillfully crafted and hand-painted Iron Man Mark I Arc Reactor. Um, doesn't, uh, doesn't give you like a number or anything like some of them do. It's remarkably inconsistent, these. I, I would like it if everyone had the exact same at the very least, size of card. I've got, a, I'm sure I've got a couple here. Look, here's one from a different thing. This is from, uh, I don't know, this, this is from the big Spider-Man one I had. Different size, different material. This one on semi-solid paper slash cardstock. This one, glossy card, completely different. No consistency whatsoever. I prefer this one. Anyway. Yeah, so this has got tape around the entire edge of it. However, I'm gonna use an age-old strategy to get this tape off without having to cut into it whatsoever. I'm gonna to attempt to find the end of it and peel it up. I feel like I should have one of those transitions, you know, the, the one from SpongeBob, the two hours later. Or oh, however many hours later. Uh, this strategy has completely failed. I'm just gonna... That, that's actually worked quite well. Fortunately, for some reason, it's it's like sellotape, which, as you know, just falls apart. Like after, It's like the adhesive they use will eventually eat through the plastic of the tape. It's the most ineffective tape for anything long-term. Unless you want to destroy antiques, and it's great for that. Okay, right. Now, as I picked that up, I did hear a lot of rattling as though it had fallen apart, and I can see that it has, and I think it's supposed to be in separate pieces. Otherwise, it is broken. Now, looking at this, I am almost certain it is in fact broken, because I can... T I can see the remnants of glue on this. Also smells very strongly, like, like unpleasantly strongly. But let's, I'd actually no, maybe it does just slot in. Let's, okay. And then this goes on these clips, I think. Ah, the game of the eagle moss. Does it clip? Does it slot? How well does it fit? You never really know. Okay, right, that's, okay, yeah, that's, okay. It what? I think it was, I think what it was, was that it's like loosely glued in, so it will sit nicely in the package, but is meant to have a certain amount of assembly, disassembly to it. Um, the immediate thing I noticed before all else is that this base weighs about three times as much as this bit. This, like this isn't like blow away in the wind light, but this is incredibly heavy. So heavy, it just, it just it shatters itself on impact. It's a feature. What I do like about the fact that it is removable is, is this side says Iron Man in a, in a not great fashion. On the back though, it just it's just embossed with Marvel. So like, you know, this is, this is 
this is top shelf nerd sham. But if I if I want to class the joint up, I would simply you know reverse the situation and put it like this. Oh wait, you you can't because for some reason the shape it slots into, it's not round, it's not square, it's not triangular. It is the exact shape of Superman's crest for some reason. The symbol of the House of L. I don't know if 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 anyone's like an expert in uh, structural design, write in and tell me why the symbol of the House of L shape, you know, like like that, cut off corners, flat, is the strongest shape in nature. It's like people, scientists thought it was the triangle, but actually Superman's crest, it's nothing sturdier. That's why Superman has it. Okay, right, actually on to the thing. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it off here to look at it. I do like how easily removable it is, to be fair. Note that the one in the film is in a glass box, like, or a clear plastic case. It almost looks like it's been set in plastic. This one isn't, it's just on its side, which if my old billionaire business partner had come back into my life and paralyzed me with high-tech ring technology that we'll never see again and could surely have solved 99% of the problems in the MCU and then removed my heart using a weird device that seemed to melt things. Um, this is the method I'd want to have my second heart reactor available. Just on the shelf, pick it up, boom, in. There'd have been no drama, really. Uh, yeah, it does actually look pretty good, to be honest. Um, I almost, have I got anything? Nope, that's Spider-Man. I have nothing for Iron Man. I, have I got any film accurate Iron Mans around me? No. Because in my head, like, so I can see the, like, the detailing is good. It looks like an electromagnet. There's, there's coils of copper going around it and, like, little bits of what look like copper wiring. It feels like it should light up, but it 100% it doesn't. From the back, it does look like a light fitting, like a, like an LED spotlight fitting. I know this because earlier today I, I refit an LED spotlight and it looks exactly like that, but much larger. It does look really good, to be honest. It's, um, hmm. There's a weird spot here, I've just noticed I've slightly ruined it. No, it's, it's in like loads of different pieces. It actually does look like it's been assembled. Yeah, it, it, it's very nicely put together. There's, um, I almost can't put anything wrong with it. There's a little, a few little issues where the hand painting's come in, because to be fair, it is, quite intricate the way they've made it look like the wiring and individual wires so it's and the the, co the copper metal effect is very good this is um i might go out on a limb and say that of all of the eagle moss stuff i've had this is probably the best piece and i think it helps that it's not it's not like a it's not a model of a person it's a Thing. and things are much easier to model because in the film it was probably also a thing which helps as opposed to you know an unper uh, an unperson <laughs> a real person I was, I was gonna bring up the uncanny valley and then I just called him an unperson um, yeah it's uh, the only thing is this spindly little thing it sits on just doesn't look great <laughs> Like from, from, from a distance, it's like base, good, solid, this, big, chunky, well-designed, looks good, high detail. And this little, little shit column it sits on. Thing is, if it, if it just sat flush on there, that looks way better already. Like it just, if it was just there and raised ever so slightly, that would be fine. I'm almost tempted to take this little bit, because all it does is it just sits on there. It doesn't even, it doesn't like firmly slot on, it slot in. I, I might take that, cut that bit off entirely, make my own little Superman shaped wedge and stick it on so it ju it's just raised a little bit off the base and not massively. And I, I would, I would love it so much if it, if it did light up, but I, I think that's probably asking just a, a little bit too much. It looks great though. I, I highly recommend that. No idea what it costs. Anything more than like 30 quid though would be too much.
absolutely too much. Uh, thanks for watching, and I apologise for the weird jump cut in the middle. It, um, it was unavoidable. I'll see you next time.